Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome to another session of Ask the Experts. I am very happy to see here all my good friends already from previous sessions. If this is the first time that you are attending live, welcome. Uh, always good to see more people and new people dedicated to genealogy. And if you are watching this as a recording, you're also welcome. But unfortunately, you will not get your questions asked or answered directly live as the rest of the audience. For all of you here and now, you know that you have the question panel right over there where you can say hi, as most of the people are being doing, um, but also write any comments, write any questions, and I will be keeping an eye on that panel as we go, trying to answer your questions. If not, during the presentation, by the end of it, I'm gonna be extra sure to leave some time and answer those questions. So again, uh, don't raise your hand, don't write me in the chat, only in the question panel will be the best way to do that. Um, okay, and so today we are going to talk about how to grow your tree. Well, not that kind of tree that really goes up with water. We're talking more about the family tree. And I don't know if getting started is the right phrase, uh, but I'm gonna start from the beginning and then the idea is to show, show you how to add individuals and how to add information into your tree. My name is Daniel Horowitz, and I am the genealogy expert at MyHeritage. I'm working in the company since 2006, and happily ever after. Before that, I was dedicated to genealogy since 1986, and I had the pleasure to be the teacher and study guide editor of the Family History Project, searching for my roots, in Venezuela for more than 15 years. I am also involved today in crowdsource digitization and transcription projects, and I'm volunteering part of my time at least in to the Israel Genealogy Research Association. Okay, so um, without further ado, what I am going to do is live going to the website. And this time I'm gonna land directly on the family tree. Because probably if you started the tree from scratch um, and completed the magic seven, uh, you will end more or less in this uh, screen, probably with a few more people in here um, with seven individuals actually, all the uh, boxes filled. If you uploaded a JETCOM, you may have more individuals as well in the tree, but it is exactly the same idea of all. So uh, you are supposed to be the person in the middle and you will not be a see this invite to the side because I actually am supposed to be this person in the tree. Um, so what you can do from here? Well, you can start by adding more people. And I'm going to start by adding a person to a, this Brian. I'm gonna click on the plus below the card and that will display what I call the spider. And this spider will be displayed depending on the um, people that you already have in your tree. If I will go back for a second and we'll do it for Joseph, 
Now for Joseph, I can actually add any person. I can add a parents, I can add siblings, I can add a partner or a daughters and sons. But because I said first on Brian, you see on the background that Brian already have parents. So from this view, I will not be able to add a parent. I'm going to add a partner. <clears throat> now you can add a partner with whatever gender you want. It can be same gender, different gender, opposite gender, whatever you like. <clears throat> and I already have some of the information uh, copied right here. So I'm going to add the maiden name. In this case, Deborah Anthony. I can add here prefixes, suffixes. I could add also the married name, but I'm going to leave that blank for now just to show you a trick. Uh, birth dates, places, if the person is living or deceased, and this is very important because if the person is deceased, you will not see the email address popping up to you over there. I haven't seen anyone answering email address from beyond. Um, you instead will see the information about the death of the person, including cause of death, and we will have a few options over there for you, and also the burial place and cemetery. So you can add all that. If the person is deceased, also there will not be any privatization for the information. If the person is alive, you will see the email address and the information is going to be private. The third part here will be the relationship and the person can be married, divorced, widowed, engaged, whatever you will like to. And of course, we are going to uh, give you dates and places depending on the relationship. If they will be married, you will have a uh, date and a place, and then you can click OK. Now, remember, I totally on purpose didn't fill in the married name. But because my heritage knows that she is married to Brian Jensen, we are placing here already the married name. Now, it's not on the details. If you ask me, as a genealogist, I always go and type the information so it will not need to be assumed or it will not need to be some kind of uh, magic technology applied. So I already fixed that and we have Deborah Jansen born Anthony right here. Um, if you would like only to see the different the, the names, very easy. I think I have explained this in the past. You go to the options right here and the second option talks about names. How do I want to see their names? If I want to see the maiden name and then the married name in parentheses or only the maiden name or the married name and the maiden name all together. I personally think that this is much better. Okay, so now you know that for each person I can uh, click on that plus and I can keep adding more individuals in that way. Another way will be to just use the incentivizer that we have here. I can click on one of those uh, cards at any time, and I can just simply type the information of the person. Uh, the last name, if it's the father, it's already pre-filled because we take our chances saying that the last name coming from the kid is the same one from the parent, but if this is not the case, and it could very well be not the case, I can very easily change this uh, name and have it a different name without any problem. So all what I need to do is to click that person as disease, and you can see 
that automatically and always the incentivizer cards are going to appear above the last generation on your family tree. Another thing that I definitely will suggest you always to do is to add photos because I hate when all the people are only uh, uh, gray silhouettes like this. So by clicking on the camera, it's going to offer me to select a file from my uh, computer, okay? And I can just go there and find the uh, files or that I have in my computer. And if this is the photo, I will be able to upload it here. If the photo has more than one individual, I can very easily zoom in, move the photo, and make sure that this is the way I want to see the person, and click OK. Another way will be just to simply drag and drop, meaning bringing the image from the folder and drag it into here. It will appear over there, and it will uh, be assigned to the person right there. Now, when I click, on the square or the card of the person. The image was uploaded, the person was tagged in the picture. I only need to go into the picture to keep on tagging individuals. Now, um, same as I am showing you how to grow your tree, sometimes you're adding people that are not the people you actually wanted to add. Like in this case, I realize this is not the father of Joseph you can delete this individual at any time. You just simply need to make sure that the left panel is centered in this individual. Then you go to the three dots, and then you can delete the person with no problem, okay? Uh, I think that we are actually going to ask you if you want to delete the person, yes and no but in this case i don't want to delete the person because what happened here was that simon i put it as the father of joseph but inadvertently it's actually not the father of joseph it's the father of beppy you see how beppy was born steiner so simon is actually the father of Beppe. So very easy. I'm going to make sure that I am standing in Simon. I'm going to go back to the three dots, but now I'm going to connect him to an existing person. And then I'm going to connect Simon to a child. I am going to select Beppe Jansen from the tree. And voila, now I created a mess because before that I actually had to remove the connection. Uh, Simon has no parents. No, I need to remove the connection. Uh, you see, you make me do a whole mess. Um, I'm going to remove from Simon. Okay, so now I can remove the connection of Simon from Joseph. Hmm. From Joseph to Simon. Then, okay, remove from the parent. I will have Simon disappeared. Well, it didn't disappear. It's just that he's not connecting connected to anybody, it's floating around, and now I will be able to connect it to an existing person. I'm going to add it as a child, and I'm going to add Beppy. Probably in this case, it was easier just to delete it and start it again, but I wanted to show you how you can move and connect and disconnect people from the tree without any problem. 
Um, okay. Now, you can also add more relative to any individual from the left panel. You click here, add people, or, or simply add, and you will see the spider come up again. Okay. Um, okay, so, so I have a question here in the panel, like, what, how is the best way to add a bio father after an adoption is discovered. So let's say that Bepi is actually uh, adopted by Simon. Uh, probably the way I will do and probably will be uh, a little bit complicated, not even sure that I can do it, but let's try it. I'm gonna go to Bepi and I'm going to first change the relationship between Bepi and the father. I did that by clicking in more information and on the first option, uh, I'm sorry, family option, I'm going to go to natural child and change this to adopted. Okay, save and close. So now the relationship between them is adoption and you can notice that because here in the corner the line is not continuous, so it's kind of cut it. Um, then um, I'm going to add another relative. Uh, I will say another partner, and this is by your father. And let's say OK. Now I'm going to disconnect this by your father from the partner. And now I can connect to an existing person as a parent, and I'm going to select Bepi. And probably you will need to go back uh, to the recording and watch it again. Um, yes, and sometimes, uh, oops, I just did it wrong. Uh, sometimes I know that it, this is actually very complicated, but at least you will have uh, a connect by your father to a child. Okay, and now Bepi. Um, bum, 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 bum. And now I have Bepi as a bio father here. Now Simon is still there, okay? You see, Simon is still the uh, adoptive father of Bepi. The only issue is that you will not be able to see both at the same time. So it's either the bio father or the real father, okay? Now, um, I'm showing you how to grow your tree today. So another way of growing the tree or actually replacing the tree that you can add is by importing a JETCOM that you can do here. And I will recommend you before you uh, upload the JETCOM that you actually delete whatever tree you already have, because if not, you're gonna end it with something like mine, for example, where I have multiple family trees and they are both the same for everybody, definitely not something that you want. So in here, you will have always the option to delete the tree with no problem. Okay. Um, mm, mm, mm. Uh, possible to remove a mistake in the tree. I'm not sure, Terry, what do you mean by a mistake? I show you how you can remove an individual from the tree. Um, you can remove any fact that at some point you have over there, okay? And you will need to go, you know what? Let me see if I can actually go into here uh, and from here. Yes, you can use the right, the left panel, okay? to uh, select any fact, let, let's say the birth, and I can from here delete this fact. Okay, 
Uh, how do you get a JETCOM file? Well, you will need to um, imp export it from whatever other website or software you are using. Um, how did you find the duplicate? The duplicates tree. Ah, very easy, Andrea. Uh, I went into family tree, manage trees. Over there, you will see all the uh, trees that you have, even if you started an, uh, a new tree, like I think Terry did, um, you go there to manage trees, you will see all the trees that you have, and from here you select and you delete the tree that you consider is the one uh, that it's a mistake. Okay, uh, now let me see what else I wanted to show you today. Um, well, as you can see, again, on top of all the cards, you have the incentivizer, you have the plus below. Yes, it may be a tedious work to add one by one, but that is a way uh, for you to make sure that uh, the information is accurate and you are actually rebuilding your family tree and make sure that everything is uh, good. Um, okay. Um, ba, 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 one second. So the be of father are you already sent to uh, show to Sandy, uh, also to Sherry. Um, okay. Now, um, the other thing is that from the profile tree, uh, I'm sorry, from the profile of the person, okay, the first one in here, you can also navigate and add individuals. Uh, you can add photos, you can add a fax, uh, or you can see all the events and you can also add different events here. Okay, uh, good. So let's go back to the presentation because today I actually have a lot of announcements for you and I will continue answering your questions in a second. Um, as you already know, a couple of weeks we released the Greek collections uh, from Corfu Violent Records, Sparta Marriages and Greek Electoral Roles. Uh, last week we uh, also uh, release the record collection for the North Germany, uh, the North Rhin in Germany, the death index, those are 2.4 million historical records exclusive to my heritage. But also this is June is definitely the month of records because every day in June we are opening one collection, most of them are a exclusive collections on my heritage and you can enjoy it for the whole day to do research for free without any problem so just read on our blog blog.myheritage.com uh, the list of days and the uh, and the uh, collections that we are uh, releasing every day now, just in a, a few minutes ago, I started to release a new uh, information and is the introduction of cross-language record matches. Because we have so many records that are not in Latin characters like Greek, Russian, Ukrainian, uh, now and Hebrew, now you can receive and you will receive record matches with those collections even if the language is not the same as in your tree or the one that you manage. I also would like to invite you to our Facebook's live and I was there yesterday with this uh, records party release if you go to the facebook page uh, of my heritage you will see the recording right there and you will see the collections that we are releasing but next week on monday we are going to have uri gonen 
talking about the theory of family relativity. So that is another opportunity that my heritage will give you to ask questions live. And yes, I know and I read that you would love to have the Ask the Experts webinars as events on Facebook, uh, but unfortunately we need to divide and conquer. So each one of us is taking care of one front. Now, uh, if talking about the Ask the Experts, you are more than invited to the next ones that we are planning for June and I already started to, pl to plan July. Now, the URL for the Ask the Experts descriptions and uh, registration links are already in your chat panel. So you can see them uh, and go in, see what uh, subjects uh, is more relevant to you. I hope you will choose all of them and we can see each other again in our next session. It's Tuesdays and Thursdays, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Also, if you want to keep learning about MyHeritage, nothing like the knowledge base, education.myheritage.com, to see recordings of webinars, of Ask the Experts, read articles or download the resources that we have there for you and you already know that you can follow me you can like me you can stalk me in any social media the uh, preferred social media of your use um, the live the facebook live it's at i think it's um half an hour from now um, it will be 9 p.m. Israel time, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I am going to check that right now as I go to the very last part of the presentation, where I thank you all very much for being here, for your interest, and I go and answer more questions for you. So the Facebook Lives, no, it's actually at 8 p.m. Israel time, the same time, 1 p.m. Eastern time, uh, same times as Ask the Expert, but now in the, um, in the Facebook page. Uh, let me see what other questions we have here. Can you show how to connect the tree to the corresponding DNA or will that be in a different webinar? Can you connect the tree to two different DNA results? Well, Margie, um, that is kind of a different thing, but let me see uh, if I can do that very fast for you. Under the DNA, you go to Manage DNA Kits. You're actually not connecting the tree to the DNA. You are connecting the DNA to the tree. So uh, you will see one DNA already uh, uploaded in this case in the three dots. You can click and you can reassign this kit to a different person. By assigning the kit to a person, that is how you connect the DNA to the person in the tree. No, you cannot connect uh, two one DNA to two individuals, but you can connect, yes, each tree, each DNA to a different tree without any problem. Um, if you have two trees, is asking Janice, uh, when you add people or information to one tree, does it that appears in both? No, Janice, it's, each tree is totally independent. Uh, will you lose anything by just deleting the unwanted tree, well, you will delete and you will lose everything that you have in that tree. So just make sure that the tree is duplicated or um, it's perfectly already copied in the original tree, so you will not be losing information. Um, can I move pictures with Jetcoms? Is asking Sandy. No, Sandy. Jetcoms are only text files, so when you import them uh, to MyHeritage, if you 
download your JET come from a website, chances are that the URL of the image is in that JETCOM and MyHeritage will be able to look for it and incorporate it into your tree. Other ways, um, probably you will uh, need to upload those pictures manually and that answers Brigitte as well. Uh, yeah, brilliant minds thinks alike. Um, hmm. So Maria, very good to see you. Uh, yes, so you're in a different time zone, but <laughs> here you are. Uh, okay, so now you know that Pennsylvania, it's 1 p.m. Eastern time. Just put your alarms and hope to see you uh, earlier from the next time. Um, will all past sessions we uploaded to the knowledge base? Robin, I am allowed to upload only one and I am, to be truth, I am selecting the um, uh, the uh, Tuesdays uh, as the experts to be uploaded, but eventually someday I will upload the Thursdays as well. Uh, so every Tuesday I upload the recording Tuesday night. By Wednesday, you are uh, actually receiving an email with all those links and information uh, about new events and other things uh, that we are having for you. Okay, so nothing more from my side, uh, just please make sure that you are staying safe. You are taking advantage of this time to build your tree, to dedicate a little bit more to your genealogy, and I look forward to see you all in our next session. Goodbye, everybody, and have a wonderful day.